November day. Let's come down to Barton to have a fish and maybe paint. I'd better do the two today. It's uh, not good forecast, but it's better than nothing. I'm going to sit up here with my two new rods, which I've got since the ones were stolen from France, to replace them. See how they work. I don't think I'll catch anything today because the weather's so cold, but you never know. But while I am here, I can. I'm going to try and do a bit of painting in the screeners. Well, I'm going to try and set up here. The rods are out now, down here. They're on bait runners, so if I get a bite, I've got time to get down there, I hope, without going tail over what. It's rather a horrible, dull day, but I'll set up here and uh, you can see it's a, a foul, wet, still drizzly day, so it's wet in wet uh, acrylics. And we'll try this scene over here just for fun. Matter has a composition very, very quickly. grey today so I've got to map it out in the grey. And uh, there's buildings up in the background here right along there. I'll just try that as a composition very very quickly. I want to just whack in some colour, take a big brush and uh, get that sky in straight away. What do I want for that? Well it's going to be Study in this horrible weather. I was hoping I might get a bite, but in the meantime, who knows? The only tint to it here. Lovely working right in Pline here again. Clean here, sorry. So I've got a little bit of Ultramarine, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow ochre, and a little bit of burnt sienna just to give me a, a grey. Just a good wash straight away. Try and get some, even though it's a grey day, try and get some lovely colours going in a minute. I can just see lots of colour coming through. And a slight bit more blue to my... So I'm adding a little bit of turquoise in now just to... Yeah, just slightly more... To play against the warmer pinks I had just now. So a little bit warmer in the grey. touch of burnt sienna. Up here. Higher up. To play against that slight blue. Nice big brush, get it covered. Down to the yellows here. Very light touch. Just feeling the the paint on. Just brushing it on ever so gently with the tips of my fingers almost. There we are, that's got my sky done. Come down, the same colour's got to be done here, so let's get that going. Right round to there. Study before I just have to have my fix. If I don't paint for a while, I'm mad. Got that anyway, but right through there. A little bit more. Yellow into there. A bit of yellow ochre. Keeping very soft colours because it is a very soft scene. Got the water just just riffling across with it. And then going along the back there, still using the big brush, we've got some lovely yellow ochre. Reeds. And 
they come out into here, so put that to there. They come into there. And they take that right the way along to the background there. Right up to the sky level, we'll put some blues in there in a minute. She's going to come through there in a minute. Put a smaller brush for that now. Coming along here, it's a bit darker. We've got a little bit of bit more warmth happening into that. Grey a bit stronger here. There must be subtle tones going on out there. A few brush strokes, we should almost have the thing. The green coming in down here. Use my brush sideways to get the feeling of the reeds there. You haven't done that this morning, have you? I'm going to have this finished in about half an hour. Paint very, very quickly on plein air. On plein air. <laughs> Is that done this morning? I've just done it five minutes. I'll soon get it down and work up the base colours first and the background, and then I'll come up with the uh, details after. You do big brushes, don't you? Well, I do with this. I mean, I've got some all, I've got, there's my brushes, but you know, I, on, a big, on a job like this, I've got to get things on quick. And I'll use smaller brushes for the details in a minute just to get this started. Gradually losing it, deep the glasses and what? Self-taught? No, I went to, I've got an art degree, I've been a teacher for 28 years, oh, retired really? early. And uh, I went to London Art College. Very eccentric your artists, aren't they? <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, this one I watched, it painted with no clothes on. Oh, right. Yeah, he's dead now, but he's painted. Well, he's probably died of cold. <laughs> Most famous place, a big fat woman laying on a settee. Yeah, I don't know who that what that one is, but right. Hopefully that's acrylic. If someone lives today, it's going to take, be very slow drying because it's so wet. But uh, the trouble with acrylic now is that just just that I've got to get it dry before I can really put these surface coats on there. But let's start to take a smaller brush and go back to the background there. Just feather this in. We always use our fingers as well just to blend. No matter how you do it, as long as it works. A little bit more blue up there, perhaps. Don't want it too dark, but just catch these layers of cloud that are drizzling down onto me. So I play one colour against another here. So I've got the yellow oak now coming in with a bit of chrome now. I'm trying to get this lovely golden form of the reeds here coming through. down in here to the water a bit too. I'm going to cheat and use parts from the other side of the lake and just bring them in to make the composition, to help make the composition. It's the edge of the brush. This is the nice thing about flats and film is we can use the edge of the brush as well to uh, painting in some of the details. I'm going to use a small round brush at the moment. I'm going to try and get away with as much as I can with this little flat, just using it as a blade. I 
come down here it's going to get much darker and I'm going to put the lights back in again so at the moment I'm painting dark over light but I'm going to come back and put a lot more light over dark shortly. Very quick painting, you can't afford to mess about in weather like this, you've really got to get things done. It's hard enough as it is. You can see the speckles happening on the canvas as the, the rain is actually lifting up some of the paint which is quite interesting in its textures. rain is making it very difficult because it is spotting the canvas, but uh, I'm not going to get this painting done unless I plough through it and just disregard that. I'll give up straight away. Nothing's taken the bait yet, but I must go and check it soon. You can see some of this needs adjusting here as well, it's a bit too, dark, too light here, it wants to be darker. Here, I must come back there and I need to darken that whole area down. So I'll have to go right across it again, really. Not good. A little bit more colour in there. I'll start to just work in some. Blue greys into that. Just feel the ripples that the swans are making down here a bit. Ground bait now. Well, I can't believe you've done that in that amount of time. Oh, I'm, I'm very quick, I'm going to say. That is beautiful. Thank you. It's such a dull day, it's a problem. Are you going to put the houses in? I don't know, I might. I might just flick those in a minute. Yeah, I've got so far I get the door. If you see, I need the paint to dry so I can put the light colours on the top, but it's just so damp today that it's just not even drying. Yeah. It's uh, very difficult. You must have learnt a lot of years to do all that that quick. Yep. <laughs> It's nice to have recollection that when you've been to a pond and you've got a picture of it. It's nice, it adds another dimension with the filming too, you know, if I catch some fish it's, it's, it's a, a bonus, but if I don't today at least I've got this done. I think you'll catch fish today. You do? Yeah, I've just had a few fish on them. You did, oh? Yeah, but, 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 but I should have changed the up. Ah. I've, I've had it on spice now. That, that was on the worm, was it? No, that was on a pop-up. Oh. Some of it too. I don't want to fish finer than I am. I'm just going to some very dark colours in a minute. I can see to really bring out these lights and, and put the lights on top again afterwards. These little coots out here are rather fun. Dapping a few of those, aren't we? Too big a brush, that's it. And these will make those background colours seem a bit lighter, which is good, that's what we want. A bit more warmth along this edge, just bring that forward a bit. And perhaps a little bit more blue green in the background, just a bit of ultramarine. Feel these background trees a little bit more. So I, I want now to let that dry off a bit and um, put in some lighter colours. I'm just going to check my bait again. I'm going to pick up a little round brush now and try to do some of the uh, darker. Reeds coming down through. Not easy because they don't want to 
go on to a wet surface. If it was a dry surface I'd be able to paint these fine ones in a lot, lot more easily. As it is the whole surface is still very liquid. There's no point in winding about it, it's got to get on. Oh yeah, come about every half an hour see how I'm getting on. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I can't believe you've done that that quick. That is beautiful. Thank you. To reflect a little bit of the light. Very, very light blue here. These reeds a bit here and there. Some light fluffy stuff happening in in between the reeds, some light shining through. I these on very delicately because the paint is so wet underneath that if I don't it will just vanish into it and become mud. Now let's see if we can just get a bit of green on the end of the branches. It's not sunshine, but it's just that little bit lighter and warmer to go against the other leaves. Well, I think that's about done, don't you? How to sign it when it's so wet, I don't know, we'll see. I'll try. It's not sinking in, it's going on the top. That's the main thing. It's almost a hidden signature. Tell we put the paints away and concentrate a bit more fishing. Let's have a look at that. Well, there we are then. I can get on with some more serious fishing and uh, I had a chance, but nothing's happened as yet. We didn't really expect it to, so it's been rather fun just coming out and doing a plein air painting again. That's the view we just took in. Well, get back to some fishing now then. I hope we can catch something still. Just one fish today will make it.